State officials have outlined guidelines for restaurants, bars, and retail stores to reopen. That includes masks and social distancing, but many patrons don't follow those rules. Local Train 3's uh, Jeremiah Wilcox explains how the CDC is offering new guidelines for businesses to prevent fights with rule breakers. It's a new phenomenon that often goes viral. That man harassed me for not wearing a mask. I have a breathing problem. People arguing with store employees for refusing to wear a mask. I'm this member to put on a mask because that is our company policy. I personally think it's, it's ridiculous. I spoke to Jesus, who's a grocery store cashier in FAR. He didn't want to be identified, but says he knows firsthand how crazy anti-maskers can be. I asked this lady one time, and she, she cursed me out, calling me all kinds of names. I kept saying, lady, I'm just doing my job. Some incidents have become violent. The CDC is offering guidance on how to deal with unruly customers to avoid confrontation. If it starts to get out of hand, I, I, I call the police. More than 30 states have mass mandates for people in public. If a business meets an anti-masker, the CDC recommends offering them another service option like curbside pickup and not arguing with customers who refuse to wear a mask. I feel they don't want to wear because it goes against their rights, but the mask protects you from other people. There is no federal law mandating mask requirements. Governor Greg Abbott issued an executive order in July that says that failure to comply could be punishable by a fine. Jesus believes the longer the pandemic lasts, the more defiant people will become. They figure it won't happen to them until it happens to them. In FAR, Jeremiah Wilcox, Local 23 News. And July major stores, including Walmart, CVS, and Home Depot, said they would still serve customers who refused to wear their masks.